Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, this is Alex and this is the Ramble and we go until midnight tonight. Now here's a guy we haven't checked in on for a long, long time, ladies and gentlemen. There he is. Oh, there we go. Uh, Stephen Kravitz. Hello, Stephen. How are you? Hello. I'm good. How are you, Alex? Uh, I, boy, you sound like you're gargling. I guess I got you up early in the morning <clears throat> here, huh? Yeah, you did. Yeah. I, my voice, voice has been off for the last couple of days, but it's back again. I had I came down with COVID for the, again? Th- for the third time. Yeah. And I, 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 I don't go out of the house. I don't go anywhere. I'm trying to figure out how I even got it. And the only thing I can think of is I went to my urologist, and that was about it. Maybe I got right. it at my urologist. So, you know, maybe I got COVID up the ass. I don't know. I have no idea what happened at the urologist. But So how are you doing? I'm doing good. Okay, when last we saw you, you were in... Uh, um, uh, uh, Worcester, Massachusetts. Massachusetts. And uh, then you said you were moving out to the West Coast, so I just right. decided I would write you and see what the hell was happening. So what, tell us what's happened since then. <clears throat> well, I spent six weeks in Milwaukee. Well, and then I... Uh, wait, what were you doing in Milwaukee? Staying with friends. Oh, okay. Well, I looked for a place in L.A. Yeah, yeah. And now I'm in North Hollywood. California. Uh-huh. And what do you have, a one-bedroom apartment? No, I'm sharing an apartment with a woman. Oh, okay. Good. You're always good at doing that. Yeah. <laughs> That's a two-bedroom. A two-bedroom. And then you have your own bedroom there. That's great. Right. That's terrific. So how is it going? See, we, we were, you were saying, I think i got to move back to L.A. And I kept saying, yes, do it. You right. Know, because that's where you've got some kind of a, a, a showbiz career, you know. Right, I'm doing stand up again. Yeah, and how's that going for you? It's going good. It's going good. Do they laugh? I mean, that's that's. Yes, they do. You can say doing good, but if they don't laugh, it's ain't good, you know. Well, they're laughing. Yeah, and uh, uh, it, 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 how does it, it? You hadn't been. On, had you been on stage? In the last no, not for like five years. Yeah. So. Yeah. So I was rusty at first. Yeah. Let me let me put on my earphones here. I'm listening to you through speakers, and I, if I put on earphones, it's better than through the speaker. There we go. All right. Yeah. Anyway. Is that so, better? Yeah, so it's so it's worked out pretty good for you. I mean, you, it, how does it feel like the first time you went back up on stage? That must, I was nervous. Uh, uh, you, nervous? I'd be I, I, uh, catastrophic practically. <laughs> you know. And how did that first set go? It went well. Was it anything like the first time you ever got on stage? No. No. So you picked up where you left off. Right. Pretty much. And, Pretty much. Yeah. And and what uh, what kind of material were you doing? Just the normal Steve Kravitz material? Right. You know, because I you know, I don't remember your material in in, <clears throat> in a specific way. Like for instance, I remember bubbles, okay? Right. Because you really didn't have any catchphrases or anything like that. No. You simply made people laugh by telling stories, you know. Right. Right, right, right. Yeah. And uh, so how often have you been going up on stage now? Uh, once or twice a week. Uh-huh. And where in particular? At the Comedy Chateau and the uh, Fourth Wall and the Improv. And the Improv. 
Yeah. Well, that's pretty good getting in on the at the improv. Right. You know. But then again, you have a record. So when you show up, you go, I am Steve Kravitz. I used to work over at the comedy store, blah, 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 blah. Right. I got out of right. the business because I went into the movies. Right. And then, uh, you know, uh, I had a horrible drug problem, <laughs> and then I got over <laughs> that. And by the time that happened, I had lost my teeth. So, you know, I mean. Right, yeah. right, right. That's about it in a nutshell. Yeah. So, so I mean, uh, you do have a, a, a history in L.A., and that's why going back there was a good idea. Right. I mean, people, right. To, people told me that about New York years ago. They said, um, my friend Shaggy kept saying, why don't you would come back here? They remember you here. Right. You know, and I went back, and uh, I got work. You know, I got work. So, right. you know, that's the kind of thing you have to, you know, live with. You know, that, that, that that's your history, and you may as well uh, push it out there, you know. Right, why not? Yeah. Come on. Don't you want somebody who was in a Clint Eastwood movie? Come on, hire me. Come on, you know? hire me. Yeah. Um, uh, so uh, were, they, were they, how did they react to you when you first walked in the door and said, I want to do some comedy? Uh, they asked me if I wanted to go on. Oh, really? Good. Right, and I said no the first night. Okay. Why'd you say no? Why, why, why'd you say no? Because I wasn't prepared. You weren't prepared. Okay. Right. So, so what are you doing? Are you going back and relying on old material, or are you... Right. Uh, okay. Right. But that's a starting point. Now you can create right. new material as you go along. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly right. I'm doing old stuff, hoping to create new stuff. Okay, you know, and the, but what the the question would be, when you're doing the old stuff, uh, is it hard to remember it? You know. Yes. <laughs> okay. In, yes. In other words, going back and saying, "Well, this is what my act was." How many years ago was it when you did your stand up? 2018. 2018? Well, right. that's, that's, that's okay, you know. You know, that's not too far back. No, but it's far back enough. Yeah. People don't understand, and, and it, people seem to think, oh, a comedian gets on stage, he tells his jokes, blah, 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 blah. You know, that's, that's the easiest right. job in the world. And if you haven't done it for even three months. Right. You you kind of lose it, you know. They say, right, right, right. Yeah, I mean, did you, what what did you find was the worst part about being on the first time? I mean, did you find you had lost some timing, or what was it? Right, you, I was rusty. What it was was it the timing that was basically the thing you lost? No, the timing was there. Yeah, it was remembering the material. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, yeah. So you know, I get. Sometimes I'd get lost. I would just like go blank. Mm -hmm. So how that long? Sucks. So how long uh, have you been have you been doing this? I mean, uh, uh, doing the going back to doing the comedy, you know? Uh, since September. Uh, since September. Okay. Right. So you've been doing this a, a bit now, and right. I, I'm trying to lower your name so it isn't. Obliterating the uh, uh, the picture here. Okay, there we go. All right. It's so long since we've done this with you that your name is in a different place now. There we go. We got it all settled. Anyway, so so uh, the first time you went on, you had you had to literally. Did you at any point forget your material while you were doing? Oh yeah. It? Really? Oh yeah. Really. And yeah, one night I went. One night I went blank. About halfway through the set, I just went blank. And how did you explain that to the people who were putting you on? I just said I, I got I got lost. I got went blank. It, yeah, and you just told that to the audience. Well, I told them that uh, to keep laughing, I was drinking. <laughs> So it worked. You worked it out so that it worked right. in the act. Okay. 
Right. Do you remember what it was, what particular piece of material it was that you had forgotten? Uh, no. Oh, okay. All right. But so you so you've been getting laughs and you've been doing okay in these clubs. And they right, obvi right, right. obviously if since September they keep asking you back. Right. You know. Uh, right. Uh, you know, they, they after the first time they could have just said, "Oh, well, you know, he he sucks." Right, now and uh, Yeah. But my first set went well. So have you come up with new material? No. No? <laughs> really, you lazy goddamn fuck. Uh, <laughs> you, you know what you should draw material from? It's just, your, you know, your daily life. I mean, right. things that are happening to you. The thing I found that I have a problem with Okay, is I always used to just talk about, I go on the morning and go, well, last night I went out to dinner with some friends and we had this thing right. and the meatloaf was terrible and I couldn't stand the food. And, that, and that's, that's, that was, I would always talk about my life. Well, I find I'm not going out much. Right. You know, I took a fall, what was it, about five months ago or something like that. Oh, and, really? And now I'm paranoid to walk down the street, you know. And I mean, I'm still aching from I got a knee that's just all banged up. Oh, and, really? Uh, yeah, yeah. So, you know. How'd you fall? How'd I fall? Um, yeah. Um, I was just walking, and I was actually holding Marjorie's hand. Because sometimes we hold each other's hand. That's why you see old people holding hands walking down the street. It's not because they're, they're not in love. They just don't want to fall, you know. So... <laughs> And but apparently she wasn't good at holding me up, and I took this fall, and I banged up both legs. Uh, oh really? Yeah, yeah. So I got very paranoid about going out for a walk, you know. Uh. And um, uh, consequently, uh, I don't do much. I I haven't been doing much walking lately. So really? Yeah, yeah. So I stay at home a lot. So that's why I can't figure out how I got COVID. You know, I mean, I don't come in contact with anybody to get COVID. But stop taking the COVID test. If, yeah, the, I wouldn't have had COVID if I didn't take the COVID test, right? That's right. That's right. You know, so that's my solution. Yeah, but uh, but I so I don't go out as much anymore, and I don't have anything to talk about. Right. I mean, you know, I, I. We, we went went out to lunch about two weeks ago with some friends of ours that just got married and I was able to then come back a following week and at least had something to talk about. Right. You know, so what you have to do is, is to look at your life every day and kind of just start bringing that back into it and go back to where you were when you created material. I mean, how'd you use to create material? On stage. In other words, you'd say something funny and you go, I got to do that again. Right. Yeah. Okay. I mean, a lot. A lot of comedians actually sit there and write their act. Right. And other comedians like yourself do it by osmosis. In other words, hey, I, I suddenly I said something that was not part of my normal script, and right. then laughed. I think I'll keep that in, and that's how right. I, yeah. That's that's the way I would probably do it. Right. Now, is that because you're lazy, or is that because you? Uh, uh, you know, I've tried. I've tried to sit down and write, and I just end up writing bad poetry. Oh, okay. Now, Bubbles does Bubbles write his his stuff? Yes, he does write his yes. stuff. Okay, I think so. Yeah, yeah. And Pearl, Pearl doesn't write anything. Pearl, I don't know. Yeah, Pearl, I would imagine doesn't. It, it's all on stage. I mean, he's just you right. know, he's. He's improv all the time. Right, yeah. right. Uh, but, uh, so. Like Jimmy Brogan. Uh, Jimmy Brogan? Right. Was that a guy who just did it all on stage? Right. He just talks to the audience. That's his whole act. In fact, Jimmy Brogan, we ha I, most people don't even know Jimmy Brogan these days. You know? Right. But a lot of people consider him one of the funny, funniest comics alive at the time. Right. Right. He's still very funny. He was very close to Leno, wasn't he? Yes, yeah, still is. Yeah. 
and um, he was a, uh, I think he actually worked on The Tonight Show. Oh, yeah, a lot. As a producer, as a producer, though, too. Um, I think so. Yeah. Uh, but uh, he uh, he was I I remember the name Jimmy Brogan because he even had a series I think. Is that right? Yeah, and it failed after like two episodes or something like that. You know. No. Yeah. So. Who was it? Uh, what's his name? I'm trying to remember his name now. The comic works out of Sacramento, uh, and he um, he got a a show. They gave him a show. Hi. On ABC, and it was so big, their whole their whole push on him, that they took a double page ad out in TV Guide. In TV Guide, you, if you got an ad in TV Guide, people watched your show. Okay, right. they took out a double page. All right. Oh really? Yeah, I'm trying try to remember the guy's name. I you know I, as soon as people mention his name, I go, oh yeah, right. Anyway, they do the two pages. The show, right. is, the show is supposed to go on Monday. On Friday, they have a whole new change of uh, people who are running ABC programming. Okay. And, and they decide on Sunday, they're not going to run the show on Monday and they cancel it. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, really? and, and I always said to him, I said, why didn't you blow your brains out? You know, why didn't you blow <laughs> after that happen? Because they didn't, they, they, they literally were promoting the crap out of him. And then the new, the new regime that came in on Friday decided they didn't want the show on Sunday. So they, they, like it. they canceled it on Monday and it was going to be a two day, a two day, uh, premiere, you know, oh, one, really? one night and then the next night after that, nothing. Right. And he went back, he went to Sacramento and became a TV personality up there and never got another show on a network. You know, huh. it's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, and I wonder I, who that was. I'm, I'm trying to remember his name now. I, I'd have to look it up and I don't want to have to go on the internet right now to look it up. But right. uh, just a great guy, too. And he's appeared on Curb Your Enthusiasm. He, he played uh, Larry's doctor. Huh. Uh, so, anyway... Uh, that, that's, uh, that's one of the lousy, uh, stories in show business. Uh, right. Yeah. So, uh, do you get out a lot? Do you, are you enjoying LA or? Oh yeah. Yeah. Although I don't get out a lot. Why don't you get out a lot? Just don't want to? Just don't want to. Yeah. I feel guilty about it, you know? But, a little bit. Yeah. But, uh, but I don't have that, uh, Alex. I don't have that much money. Yeah, so, so I really can't go out. Yeah, well, you know that's a good way not to spend it. Right. I always found the way. Anytime you leave the house, you wind up spending at and least t at least twenty five bucks just walking out the front door. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. And uh, um, I, but not going out much does save you money. Right. Although we call in for food now. Mar oh, really? Marjorie has ceased to cook. She she said, that's it, I'm through cooking, you know? And um, so, you know, we, uh, uh, we have like Instacart. We have oh, really? a, 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 yeah, another thing she calls out to for food. And with Instacart, we have several different grocery stores we buy food from and then right. we bring it in and then we you know, munch on it. I get all the Costco. I get all the stuff from Costco delivered. And that started during COVID because you didn't right. want to go to Costco. You might die, you know? Right. And uh, so we went with uh, Instacart and then they would bring the food and of course we would then leave it out in our foyer and we'd spray it, you know, with disinfectant. I mean, we didn't know what was causing it back then, you know. And uh, we got very used to using Instacart, and now we never go to Costco any longer. I don't know. If I went up there, I wouldn't know where everything was anymore. Right. You know, so whatever. Yeah, but uh, do they pay you for these stand-up gigs, or they don't pay, pay anything? Some of them. Really? Some the, of them. The improv pl pays, right? 
Right. The fourth wall pays. Yeah. So so the comedy chateau doesn't pay. Okay. So what what when they do pay, what do they pay? Well, like fifty bucks. Fifty bucks? Well, that's something, you know. Right. Uh, I mean, if you if your kind of guy goes back there and works five nights a week, right? You know, at least you're making two hundred and fifty bucks a week. It's not right. a lot of money, but it's something. It's something. Yeah, uh, and you're on Medi you're on uh, Social Security, so you have that money coming in. Right. Okay. Right. So, right. so you're not you're not starving. Right, and I have a little bit of money coming in for my pension. Uh, pension. Oh, of course, you have SAG. Right. Right. Uh, and uh, that pension, is, I get a pension from AFTRA, which is SAG now as well. Right. Uh, and I get about a thousand bucks a month or something. That's what I get. Yeah. Well, you see, uh, I, I, I didn't work at AFTRA stations that much over the years. Right. Um, when I went to San Francisco, there were hardly any AFTRA stations. So I didn't, Is that right? yeah. So I didn't collect money for pension, but what I when I did collect money for pension was when I was in New York and every station right. and every job you did was union, and because of that, I got about a thousand dollars a month. You know, so that's good. You get the check from Social Security and you get that. Right. So you, you're not you're not exactly starving. No, yeah, you know, and it's good. That's and great. I got a good deal on the apartment. I only pay nine hundred dollars a month. That's great. Right. That's terrific. Uh, we only pay five hundred. Yeah, I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> the people don't ask. I don't want to have to tell the whole story all over again. I know the story. It only cost us one hundred forty thousand dollars to get a five hundred dollar a month rent. Right. You know, right. So. Don't everybody don't sit there and go oh you know start dividing that up among ten years okay right. and it, it doesn't it isn't that cheap right and, yeah um, so um, uh, you, you met up with its old friends down there too old comic friends a little bit yeah. a little bit any see anybody we I know no no wow. Because there are people to bump into down there that, you know, of course, Slayton lives down there now, you know. Does he? Oh, he's been living there for years. He's kind of, yeah. huh? What? what? He's, he's retired, isn't he? Yeah, you know, uh, kind of. Oh, I'm frozen now. Look at me. Look yeah, at you're me. frozen. Yeah, I'm frozen. Hold on a second. I can, I can take care of that. But first I have to go here and I have to go up to, where are we? Uh, no, 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 no. I gotta. Find, where's my? Where's my? Uh, I I I forget where I'm supposed to go. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, I will. Uh, I'll do this. Okay. I have to turn it off. Okay. Uh, let me see here. I go to that maybe, and then I yeah. There I am. I know I'm frozen. I'm I'm on a different camera now. See. What happened? How many cameras you got? I got, I got, I got three cameras here. <laughs> in case one breaks, the other one works. And in right. case that one doesn't work, the third one will somehow give me something. But wait a minute. Hold a second. Hold on a second. What do I? Um, where do I want to go? Here we go. I forget how to do all of this stuff. Here we go. That was. And then I go here. Come on. There we are. See. I'm on, on the other camera again. <laughs> Every now and then it t decides to freeze for some reason, you know. But anyway, so yeah, I have two cameras. And if I run both of them at the same time, we do 3D. So it's. Uh, Is that right? So no. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm gullible. So anyway, so it, 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 are you happy you moved? I think the move was good for you, right? Yes, I am happy. Yeah, are you are you thinking of auditioning for any films or anything like that? Not yet. Why not? Uh, well, there was there was the strike. Yeah. And now I'm, I need to get a theatrical agent. I only have a commercial agent. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, you've got, you know, you certainly do have the, uh, what do you call it, the credits. All right? right. So somebody should be willing to pick you up. And, right. and you know. So. I got an industry showcase coming up in April. A showcase what, for films? For uh, talent coordinators. Oh, okay, good, great. Terrific. Well, just nice coming up in April. Just be your character self, you know, and you can't go wrong. <laughs> hey, listen, we've run out of time here. I really wanted to check in with you and see how you're doing, and I'm sure the, Thanks, o- the audience wants to see how you've been doing too. I've been doing good. And I always think about you, and uh, uh, I'd say I'm going to write him, and then I there's something else happens, and I don't get around to it. I got around right. to it. You said let's do one of these little things and so we we're doing one of these little things right so good to see you stay where you are when we're through here we'll talk some more okay ladies and gentlemen that's Stephen Kravitz thank you Bye, so much Stephen bye-bye c'est Gabnet la grande broadcast network cam ricain par les radios comme vous n'en avez jamais entendu or as they say in English Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Okay, let me uh, get uh, there. We go. Oh, you know, I got to turn the lights on. I, I'm I'm really out of it today. I'm still getting over this whole COVID thing. Okay, alrighty, uh, and uh, uh, I have a couple of things to do here. First of all. Uh, let me uh, let me bring in just the one person who is waiting to come on here. Uh, so let me just bring him in here. And um, come on, here we go. Come on. Uh, we'll get, I got to get rid of that. What, see, see the things I do that are just screwed up like crazy here. I know, I know. I know. I'm screwing up stuff like crazy. You had the wrong date on there too. Uh, where 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 do I have the wrong date? Yeah, two seven for the show date. Oh two, really? Eight. I'll have to change that later. Okay. I okay. didn't want to add to your stuff, but yeah. Well, you see now here I got Stephen Kravitz's name still up here because I didn't think. Oh wow, like, I'm famous. I didn't, I, I I didn't think to get rid of it until later. Uh, let me see here. Um, here we go. Panel. Then I go here. And then I get rid of that. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we're fine. See, see what? And then happened? you're stuck with me tonight. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh. Okay. And the, and here 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 comes Alan. Uh, <sighs> Thank the, God, I'm, Alan. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something right now. Um, see this? This is um, this is my Paxlovid. Okay. And guess what? I'm gonna take now. My last ever. Paxlovid for now. For the, this is the last one. Uh, you gotta get it out of oh. there, huh? But you're putting it somewhere else when you're like, oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. You gotta, you got, you got these uh, blister packs, okay? And I only take two of them. A one, a Do you one get a blister trying to open them? One on each side because you see, I don't take these two because I have kidney problems. So. Uh. Uh, You don't take that. And now I can throw the rest of these away. And now, here I go, folks. I'm taking my final, my final. Mm-hmm. Drug. There you go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that should take care of it. Because this stuff, this stuff really works. Uh, you take that every day? Yeah, I had to take it for five days. Ah. I had to take it for five days. And you said the first night, you the first morning you woke up, you could already feel that it was helping. Now, yeah, yeah, yeah. It okay. it it, wor- it works pr- it works uh, fairly fast, you know. It's it's yeah. good, it's good. But I, uh, you know, I just, uh, <sighs> I, you know, I, I I I didn't do a show last night because I still felt weak, and I still feel weak. But and you notice how much I'm screwing up tonight. You know, with the video and everything, I screwed up the beginning of the show. I screwed up just now with the still having Kravitz's name up there. So I'm still not, I'm not 100%. Hey, let, let us run the show one night. 
I'm, I'm <laughs> You'll see everything wrong. <laughs> I, I, no, I was thinking about that. Why not? You know, I mean, yeah, but huh? everybody would be upside down or something, and names would be wrong, and yeah, yeah, <laughs> things like that. Right. Uh, but I, <laughs> you know, I uh, 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 it, it just um, I'm I'm like loopy and weak. You know, you get we uh, a certain amount of weakness. Uh, it's my fault. I had COVID first, yeah. and being on the show, I gave it to you. Uh, you didn't take Paxlovid, did you? No, so nothing. How, so how long did it take for you to get rid of it? Um, most of it about 10 days. Really? This was, yeah. I got to tell you, a while I still feel weak and kind of loopy, you know, and things like that. Um, I was Except feeling was so cold. much better the next day. This whole thing was manifesting itself as a cold, as a very bad cold. Yep. That's the way I felt the whole time. Yeah, yeah. And so I took it. I took the Paxlovid, and the next day, I'm good to go. But I'm, you got to take it for another four days. You know, and every day I felt progressively better and better. But there was still an inherent weakness that I kept feeling, which, you know. My doctor doesn't understand why the fill-in COVID doctor didn't prescribe it to me. The and so we have a, we have a meeting with him. I have a meeting with him tomorrow to make sure this never happens again if I get COVID again because uh, because of my weight, because of my age, I should have got it. Yeah, yeah. Why make why take the chance? And that, that, there was one pill that I take for anxiety, Valium, basically, and uh, it interacts with it. But there's 17 other pills in the same family of drugs like Valium that would have worked just fine and uh, doesn't have any reaction. Well, here's, here's what I had to do. I, I had to take the just the two-pill regimen because of, of uh, I don't have bad kidneys, but I have certain kidney problems. I'm getting older. Your kidneys start getting weaker. Uh, so I remember my doctor, I couldn't get to my doctor because my doctor, it was, sat, it was a weekend. It was Sunday. Yeah. Okay. It was actually Saturday when I took the test and I came down with it. So uh, I couldn't get to my doctor. So Sunday I couldn't get to my doctor. So I went to the uh, the you know the uh, urgent care, and uh, they tested me and they said, yeah, you got COVID. Uh, here we'll give you some. We'll give you the uh, what do you call it? Uh, the uh, Paxlovid. They didn't exactly know how to give it to me, though, because I said to this oh, woman, I, I have a little psych kidney problem, so I want the kidney dosage. And what I got was the full dose. Okay. So I had to go online and figure out what to do and so on and so forth. But uh, it also said, don't take a statin. So I didn't take a statin. But that yeah. was about the only thing I didn't, didn't ha have to give up, you know. The I take days. statins and I also take um, yeah. God, what's it? It's a, it's a boner pill. Um, oh, uh, 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 Cialis. Cialis. Cialis, five yeah. milligrams for my prostate. Yeah, and uh, you got to stop that too. And th those are no big deal to stop. Yeah, I, I, I well, I kind of stopped that anyway. So you know. But you know, it, it, it there is a whole list of, of stuff they say. Oh yeah. Well, they don't. I don't know if taking any of it would actually hurt you, but you, it it just probably weakens it or doesn't give it its full strength and whatever. So I, uh, I just you know I pretty much stop most of my pills. <laughs> just be on the safe side. Sure. But anyway, so th that's it. I'm now taking my last dose of it. And I'm probably, uh, I haven't had a temperature in four days, something like that. You know, and they say once the temperature goes, if it's gone for 24 hours, you're good to go, you know. Right. Um, but I, it wasn't until today that Marjorie and I actually stayed around each other without a mask on. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Did you kiss her? Huh? Did you kiss her? No, I didn't do that yet. That's tomorrow. Ooh, going to the first, first base tomorrow. Tomorrow's first base time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, I mean, it, it, but it was, it, it, you know, this is a third time for me. You know, and the question I have is, where did I get it? 
I'm uh, telling you, it came from me. I t well, uh, outside of the jokes, I keep saying, where did I get it? And I checked it out, and um, uh, I thought about everything. Because I haven't been out of the house. I just don't leave the house. So I don't go anywhere to get it. It's my first time. Well, what I found out, what I think I, where I think I may have gotten it was maybe at the urologist's office. You know, it's the one place I went, didn't have masks on and whatever. And, um, you know, who knows? Who knows? I, I just have no idea how I got it. And Marjorie didn't get it. Wow. Wow. Although we, we didn't test her, but she hasn't come down with anything. So there's no reason to. Yeah. Um, so how come she didn't get it? How come I got it? You know, it's weird. It's very strange. Oddies. Huh? <laughs> Yeah, it bounced around our family and didn't hit Simon at all. This is the first time. S S Simon, nothing, right? Yeah, and everybody else, it was like one after another, bam, 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 yeah. and he. Yeah, did Adrian sure. get it? Yeah, she had it. What and what did you did you give her any Paxlovid or anything? No, or? this is before. This is before. Before what Pax? Or Paxlovid? What do you mean Pax? Uh, it's only a couple of months, about a month ago, wasn't it? No, no, she she got she got COVID a while ago. Oh, okay, but she yeah, yeah. but she's a kid, so that she has more strength, I think, to fight it off. Yeah, this is like you know, a couple of years ago. You know, I mean, I don't think I think if I didn't take the Paxlovid, I would have been fine, because really, what happened was I think that if you got the shots, if you got the vaccine, it, you'll still get it, but you'll it'll be. A, a, Less. You know, uh, less of a strain on you, yeah. But, you know, at my age, I don't want to take a chance. So I went and I'm just, I'm just going to get Paxlovid put into me intravenously on a constant basis. And so I don't ever get it again. But Get uh, it with your Lysol injection. It helps. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. Well, Fluorescent I, tube up your butt, too. Yeah, I couldn't do that. Because mm -hmm. I, there was no Clorox around the house. So you got to drink that. That's what it is. You got to drink it. You got to drink the Clorox. <laughs> Don't forget to drink that whole thing. Can you no, believe no. we had a president that said that? I, oh, I, my God. I, I can't believe it. But he can't got, believe that. He got demonetized by YouTube. Uh, <laughs> so, you know. And we may have that guy again. That's a scary I thing. <laughs> I doubt it. Can't oh, wait. Can't well, wait. Look, oh. I don't, you know, i got to got to tell you something. I was thinking about this. Uh, thinking about a couple of things the last couple of days. Weird stuff, you know. But we get down to this whole thing with Trump. And, mm -hmm. and I just can't believe, I, you know, I can believe that people don't want Biden. OK, uh -huh. right. Um, for any number of reasons. And I don't know that I would necessarily agree with people, but I understand if they don't like Biden. Mm -hmm. But to go for Trump, I mean, that's like, you know, hey, listen, uh, I'm uh, I, uh, I, I I'm really hard up for a date. I think I'll have to go out with a woman who has syphilis. You, know? <laughs> I meant you, go back, you have to go back to the doctor to get that shot out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, I mean. What is what? Come yeah. on, folks! Don't you understand? This man is a non-starter. I mean, it's just it's horrible. And I then it got me thinking. I started thinking about Hitler. Okay. Oh, I watched a documentary. That son of a bitch, too. Well, what was the guy Goebbels next? And we can vote for Goebbels. But the other guy, he's a good guy. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, you know, it, 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 you know. <laughs> Somebody once said about, I think it was Slayton who said about a guy we knew, who, David Feldman. He said, if Hitler had met Feldman first, he would have stopped there and felt satisfied. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, um, I, I, um, uh, I was thinking about Hitler. Yeah. And I, I, I was thinking, gee, you know, and I'm going, this is when I'm going to sleep, right? This is the kind of thing that puts <clears throat> me to sleep. And I'm thinking, can one man have been so evil mm -hmm. that he could accomplish all the evil that was accomplished by the Nazi regime? And I began to say to myself, I don't know if Hitler knew exactly what was going on. I actually think Hitler... Mean like what then? Well, I, mean... I feel that Hitler was stupid. 
Okay. To what century the galaxy? But they had these guys. He had these guys around him who mm. were doing all the stuff that was really bad. I mean, you know, the concentration camps, mm. all of that. You know, I can't... It, it, I just don't understand how one man could be that that silly little guy with the mustache and the funny and those hair. crazy. You see how he gave those the speeches? Maybe they, yeah, no, was no, he wait, a puppet? No, you no, think no, then no, when they rolled Let me the finish what I'm saying here. Okay. Oh, okay, good. Uh, I just don't understand how that guy could have had the kind of power to wipe out wipe out six million Jews. Well, that, yeah. Now I, I know yeah. six million Jews died. That's what yeah. we know of. It could be more. That, yeah, it could have. It, well, there were also gypsies and Catholics. And, uh, That's what I'm wondering. How many more did they didn't even get noticed? Yeah, yeah. but anyway, the point I'm trying to make yeah. is I started to think about, you know, uh, they. of course we blamed it all on one guy, right? You know, but there were a lot of people around him who were calling the shots on this deal. I mean, I don't even know if, if out of all the people that he surrounded himself with, he was the most anti-Semitic, you know. Yeah, I don't know about it, that, that, that. Here are all these other guys, uh, oh, yeah. right? You know, who are, are are calling the shots, writing his speeches, uh, yeah. you know, following him around. So I, you know, I began to wonder about that, and then I began to wonder about Trump, because mm. Trump ain't the brightest bulb in the pack, mm -hmm. you know, and. Uh, is it pe are there people around him who are feeding him these notions, you know, and, and, and you know because is he strong enough to be able to just put, hold on to all these people and do all? Of I think I just think the people who are terribly evil and I compare Trump to Hitler, I, you know. You and my brother were talking about that tonight. Actually, I had a theory on it. A lot of similarities. Uh, it's almost as though Hitler was a hero to him, and he said, I'm going to be like Hitler. Okay. Um, which reminds me, I one time I, I on the radio in San Francisco, I, I came across this guy living in, I think it was Delaware somewhere, by the name of, and he was in the phone book, Adolf Hitler. You think he changed and I'm thinking, you know, it, you know, after World War II, if your name is Adolf Hitler, that's a good name to change. Yeah, I mean, she. In fact, that, that really wasn't even Hitler's real name. Hitler's real name was Adolf Schickelgruber. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. So I we decide to call this guy on the air, and and we call him, and I said to him, I said, we, we're calling you because I do a radio show here in San Francisco, and it, quite frankly, uh, you know, you've got this name, and I'm just wondering. Uh, why you still use the name Adolf Hitler? And he said to me, "It's Hitler." <laughs> <laughs> I hated to tell him it looks like Hitler, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but that but that was the uh, that was the. Uh, uh, but anyway, I was just thinking about Hitler, and I I said to myself, I can't believe. This one man had the kind of strength to be able to just run rampant over all these people in Germany. This one guy. And this one guy could get them. And so how did he manage to do it? Well, he didn't manage to do it. I think all the people around him, Goebbels and, uh, and Goebbels Bo Bormann yeah. and all those people, were calling the shots and writing the speeches and you know, putting him out, as, as, out front because he had this certain charismatic character. And that really, the reason Hitler was able, or Hitler, was able to get away with what he got away with was because of the people of Germany who became complicit in his ideology. And then I think about America, and I think about Americans. And if we lose our democracy, it's not Donald Trump's fault. It's going to be the fault of the people who put Donald Trump into office and supported Donald Trump and, and, and you know, wear their little MAGA hats, you know, and the whole thing. Uh, I just think that we, you, you got to watch out because it isn't the guy. It's the people of that country who allowed Hitler to become <laughs> what he became. Because could one guy... Do what he did if the people of Germany said, no, you're not getting away with that. 
You know, we're not going to go around killing a whole bunch of Jews or gypsies or homosexuals, okay? Um, so it, it just, it, I just think that it, it's, uh, it's something we really got to watch out for now. And I think America is capable of giving up this whole democracy. And the reason I believe it is, is that I started to think about, has there ever been a time in my life where I've truly believed in this country? And I gotta say no, because continually, proof has been th thrown at my feet that this is a pretty lousy country, and we've done some pretty lousy things. I mean, just start with slavery, isn't that enough? You know? I mean, this is, uh, you, I kind of saw that you nodded in, in agreement there with me, Charlie. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I believe in the idea of this country, but we've never really lived up to the idea of this country. The ideal is fine, but it's a myth. Uh -huh. You know, it's yeah. a myth. We don't live by those ideals. And in my lifetime, we never have. I have yeah. seen nothing but one kind of ugly situation after another. I mean, when I was growing up as a teenager, there was the House on american Activities Subcommittee. They were what we called the, they were kind of like Salem witch trials, you mm -hmm. know, start out with that and just move on to other stuff, you know. I mean, the way we treated gays back in, 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 the, in my, when I was growing up was amazing. I mean, they arrested them. They put them in prisons, you know. They sent them to, uh, uh, to psychiatrists to try and change them. You know, the horrible stuff. Just Electric shocks. The, hmm, what? The street and stuff. Yeah. 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 So, you know, I mean, I've never, I can't remember a time in my life where this country has lived up to the ideals that I was told about. See, here's the thing. I was taught in school about all the good things that America was. Mm -hmm. And then when I looked around me, it wasn't what they told me it was. But I was meant to believe that it was that way. And that we were living up to those ideals. And then I saw that we weren't. And, you know, add to that the fact that I was also a Jewish kid growing up in America and feeling a, a large amount of anti-Semitism. So, you know, I, I don't know that, you know, America has ever been what it believes it is. Yes, um, uh, Tony. Me and my Tony. brother were talking about this. My brother, being a really hates Trump. So do I, but I'm gonna. And I told him I think I know how it happened. The rise of Trump theoretically, when you had when you had the internet break open, and then everything went to thousands of cable channels, that you could spread lies easy. You saw it already. Fox News has people hypnotized, and so does MSNBC to one of the degree. So basically, I think if you if this was 1986, Trump never would have got this far, because now you can spread a lie. Well, or a false truth and get away with it. Well, you're you're right to a certain extent, but I just don't believe in the American people that well. Right. That that I don't think that they aren't responsible for what's going on. I mean, Trump well, doesn't I, does, Trump doesn't exist in a in a uh, in a in a cloud. Trump exists because the American people are allowing he and his ideology to exist. Yeah. And that's the same exact thing that happened in Germany during World War II. Well, you know what he exposed, Alex, and I told my brother this. All he did was shake that tree. And you know what you had? Oh, they don't really hate gays anymore. Yes, they do. Oh, they don't really hate black people anymore. Yes, yes they, they do. do. They still wear the Confederate flag. You know what it is? They all came, They all thought the country was all... It was never great. And he got a hold well, of that. Well, let's make America great again. Yes, it probably never was great in the first place. You know, so. It's like all that hatred was there, and he just tapped into it, and they came out. Like, he gave them an authority to come out. Yeah. Kevin, am I an anti-American prick? No, I don't think so. Yeah. You're just kind of pissed off. No, and I'm, I'm not pissed off. It's, I, I'm, it's, I'm, you know, I, it's I finally. It's true what you're saying, but you after know, all these the American people that are electing these people, and 
that's the problem. Well, at the age of 84, I suddenly come to the realization <laughs> that I said to myself, at what point in my life did I really believe this con in this country and what it was doing? And I can't say there ever was a time. There was not. They shot Kennedy for that reason. Yeah, you got to. Well, you know, we don't like what he stands for, so we'll take him out. Well, I think that was a whole different deal, though. I'm going to tell you the truth. You may not want to hear this, but I'll tell you the truth. I said this to my brother. The best thing that could happen for this country, if somebody did a mm -mm no, to the no, other. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't even. I won't <laughs> say it, but. Don't even. It wouldn't be the worst thing. I can tell you that, Alex. Well, the old fashioned There are a lot way. of people who feel that, but I don't believe that would solve anything. I know it wouldn't, but I because, think. Uh, because the same terrible people who good to take believe Hitler, in Trump will. Well, they'll. they'll They'll make him into a into a, into a, a Christ's image, you know. He, think about if they could have took Hitler out, Alex, before that they were escalated. You would have been a hero to take I, that guy I'm out. I'm gonna tell you now, if they took out Hitler, wouldn't have changed anything because you think the, they still would have went through the it. People who were controlling Hitler were still alive. I yeah. still would have liked to see them cut the head off the snake, though. They would have used him as a martyr. They would have used yep. him as a martyr. It would have only gotten worse, and that would I be still, the same thing if somebody did something to trump and i'm not i don't want that to not happen saying. i don't want that to happen no but. okay but if it did happen mm. it would only mm. make him into a martyr and that whole yeah. that whole tree that was shaken all those things that fell off are only going to they're not going rot, to rot, get rotten you know they're going to just uh but i think his seedlings. people would go away and not vote again oh no oh no, no. oh no they, well they wouldn't back anybody that they like you think they would vote for Anybody else but him believe? Come on, I don't no, think they but would. If he were to, if let, let well, let's say he became Someone president, else would step up and they would vote for that. Yes. I don't know about it, that. It, yeah. Exactly, I agree with you, Kevin. You know, I mean, it, it, uh, that, that, that's how terrible things have gotten. And they would yeah. use that as a stepping stone. Yeah, mm -hmm. but Maybe. you know, I mean, I don't. I like to see it now. You know, the other President Ted Cruz. Yes. No. And he would step in it in a heartbeat. Or President Jim Jordan. Uh. Something good today happened, and something What's that? and something bad today happened. Oh, I know what you're going to say. At the yeah. same time, uh, what happened that was good is that they went back and said, uh, you know, all those uh, documents that. Uh, uh, what's his name that uh, Biden took home? You know, I guess to do homework or something. I don't know. That doesn't uh, mean, yeah, yeah. I, I, I do some work from garage. home uh, and found in the garage. Uh, they finally said today that he really, he, yeah, what he did wasn't right, but it wasn't, it didn't, it, it wasn't done with any reason of trying to steal them or whatever. That it was, a, they said they were not going to prosecute him. The other reason they said they weren't going to prosecute him is they say that he is so out of it that he probably can't, wouldn't be able to stand trial anyway. <laughs> By that they meant this no. guy didn't, he didn't even know when, when uh, his uh, son died. Is that yeah, true? He's, he's had several times the past yeah. couple of months. Yeah, yeah. That he, he didn't, uh, he was like uh, not able to recall a lot of things that he should have recalled and that they say he's a little out there, you know, he's a I little, you know, yeah. so now we got uh, that that's problem, not good. but yeah, the good is but he's he not, good definitely. news is you're not guilty of this thing. Bad news is, bad news is you we, don't remember what you, you don't did. know. We, we you don't know that you're not. You didn't know what you ate for dinner. Okay. We, we thought you, we think you're batshit crazy. I mean, that's <laughs> yeah, basically right. what they said. <laughs> What do we laugh or cry? I don't know. <laughs> so we have the we, so we have a anyway. choice now between yeah. an, a, a, a a convicted John Gotti. Uh, no, I call him John uh, Gotti in my house. No, 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 a, a megalomaniac. Yes, a megalomaniac. Yeah, okay, <laughs> or a man who is going senile. I'll take the senile mm -hmm. guy, Alex. I would too. Well, I, I'm being honest. I don't want an act criminal in the fucking yeah, court. Out. Yeah, this is really a great choice. Okay, <laughs> what's the third option? <laughs> Throw yourself on the floor. I think. I think the thing that scared me before Trump was uh, running again uh, the last time was that um, you know he saw his whole family being successors. You know, 
Yeah. He, yeah. He, they had it all lined. He has it all lined up. So his family's going to run this country for how many more years, you know? Yep. And it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm afraid if he got in, Brian, he would say he'd get rid of everybody who didn't agree with him. You're all fired. Yeah. Yeah. He had a couple government just agreeing with him. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I, think the biggest, I think the biggest problem with this country is that it's everybody's very greedy. You know, you pay teachers barely any money and you have a guy throwing a football, playing a game, making, you know, more money than he could spend in his lifetime. And yeah. I think all those kind of values and the medical system and, and all this is just terrible. The homeless, you know, I don't know how we're coming up with this fucking money for Ukraine. Yeah. How many billions of dollars? They're printing it. Are, are you They're kidding me? Or bills. Yeah. And, and all this money is... Just like the lottery, you know, this money is not going to the schools. This, you got to think about Brian. You got we got to help all Ukraine. Big this dollars that the you hear, I mean, we hear billions of dollars. So so much now, it's it's nothing. Now we're starting to hear trillions of dollars, and it's like, where does this stop? And this money is not going to where it's supposed to go. Yeah. But you got to help Ukraine because this guy Putin wants to take over the whole thing now. But but, but I, you know, and I I sort of disagree with that because. What do you think Putin's going to do after he gets Ukraine? Poland. He wants Ukraine because, you know, that was Russia before and he thinks hey, we should have that back. I don't so I don't see it I don't think it's a good thing, but I don't think why are we spending so much money and giving all this money to Ukraine? <clears throat> you know, I, I think there's enough world police to have him stop after Ukraine. Well, <laughs> well the re reason why we're having I, I just come don't up. believe all this money and I don't believe the money is going to the right spot. And then yeah, it's hundred. It's one hundred fifteen billion. Is that it? Something like that. Some amazing. That's for amount. the whole package. Yeah. Crazy. That is insane. Well, money. we also they also want to give uh, money to Israel, Israel which yeah. quite frankly I think is is uh, rewarding bad behavior. Yeah. You know. Uh, and there's billions going for the border. Border patrol and stuff. Too. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. There there was a border. I was I was at the gym. And they're showing the border. <laughs> they show the border going to this rock. You know, it's like a little hill of big, big slabs of rock. And the and the wall. How's the wall gonna go into a rock, a solid rock? Yeah. So it just stops. And there's like this much room. Uh, there's a hole. And there's a hole have there. People just but, but, but now here through. here's the best part of it. Oh my god. Who, who are the people coming through that hole? Who are they? Do you know? Well, according to 60 Minutes, those yeah. are Chinese people. Chinese. They're Chinese. Yes, yes. Chinese. Well, again, we're now, Chinese Come on in. I, I was reading it, and I'm going, what the hell is your Chinese people going through it's there? Come down. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you would think that Chinese people would just say, hey, I think I'll just take a boat and go to San Francisco and uh, get yeah, off yeah. of the boat and, and uh, show my passport, stay for about three months, and apply for, you know, uh, some kind of amnesty. I mean, I, I but, uh, you know, I mean, I think that not you, we're damned if we do, damned if we don't. No, who wants to give a ton of money to you know to Ukraine? Well, the reason we got to do it is if we don't do it, they're gonna they're gonna be taken over by Putin, mm -hmm. and it's going to be a hellhole, and he's just going to use that as a jumping off spot to other places yeah. in Europe. I can't, I, exactly. How do you know you're going to place that? That it's going to cost it's going to cost us more money later on if we later don't do on. something yeah. about it now okay I, I i don't think so you don't think so uh, I, I agree with alex i i mean you, you, you gotta go to he'll jump over to poland you don't think so yeah but hey then un steps in right i mean this i don't know bring your yeah, mic down a little bit have there the money of the okay. tone. bring your mic closer you to, to you fund the un if they were going to do anything yeah yeah but I mean, um, and uh, so far as Israel is concerned, I don't know why we're even planning on giving them money. But apparently, they, apparently, they have enough uh, money on their own and arms and so on on their own to be able to take care of their own problems and and wipe out Gaza. I mean, they, they, where'd they get all that uh, yeah. munitions from? You know. You realize they have universal health care in Israel. They do. And we don't have it. We're, they keep telling us we can't afford it. Yeah. But they have it, and we're still giving them billions of dollars. It's ridiculous. And, it's ridiculous. And here's another thing, though, too. I was going to say too. 
I mean, another reason why I think you have to really help Ukraine, if you think about it, if we would have stepped in WW2 before Pearl Harbor, Brian, we probably would have ended this. We well, should have where, been would, in, where would we have stepped in? You see, we here, should have stepped in when he was way who, before that. Who, when before what? We waited too long to get into WW two. I think no. Well, here, well, the reason we didn't get in WW two was because uh, Americans had just gone through World War One, and they didn't just want didn't that. want another war. And I can understand that. But then Pearl Harbor happened. And of we course, had no choice then. You get attacked. Everybody went, well, uh, it, there are a lot of theories that Roosevelt kind of knew what was happening with the Pearl Harbor deal, and he just let it happen. So he would then have an excuse to ramp up all around the globe, take care of uh, Germany, and take care of going after Japan. Uh, and... Uh, it, it, he he actually used that as a major excuse to get into World War II in Europe. And before we knew it, we were in it with both feet, you know. But uh, prior to that, there was a thing in America where people just didn't really want to get into another conflict, you know. And plus, you know, what, who, who was dying in Germany? Jews. Nobody cares about the Jews. But this guy wanted world domination, though. You saw his outline. He wanted world domination. He was good. So, he would never have stopped him. So oh. this $115 billion for this whole package, is this guaranteed it's going to stop Putin? I don't think it's going to oh, stop no. Putin. I think we may have to keep uh, money rolling into Ukraine for a while. But right now they're running out of equipment. Running out of munitions, and uh, so we'll they're, wait a minute, the and they're, they're they're having to uh, think about uh, what they're going to do next because they're starting to lose that war, and we don't want so that we'll to happen again. When there's another hundred and something billion dollars going back to Ukraine, additional. Hey, we just print it. It's just, you know. it's just I mean, I'm not really worried about the money because I think we'll recoup it. We're a superpower. You know what? Well, it is what it is. We will never <laughs> we will never recoup it. <laughs> But you know what? Do you really care about how is that really affecting? But Brian, how is that money affecting you? You're gonna have this guy invade a country. You're gonna say, "Go ahead, take it." Nah, we can't help you. You're on your own. No, I'm just saying that there's a lot more stuff that they could be spent on here. Yeah, but you know what? Don't you want to help these people who are getting? Let me let me throw this one. Then take him out. Take Putin out. That's John Wick style. Brian, let me let me throw this at you. Okay, you say you know, hey. Let's just uh, take care of other things here. And the fact is, we've thrown money at those other things here, and has it done us any good? No, because it's been wasted. Uh-huh. Uh huh. You know. And that's what I said about greedy, and that the money that gets put these, like the lottery and all these things, don't get to where it's supposed to go. I mean, even when we had COVID, they they allotted a lot of money to taking care of COVID and the COVID situation, and what happened? There were thieves out there grabbing the money like it was a land grab, you know? I mean, they were just uh, 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 grabbing onto that money and stealing it and spending it elsewhere. And it's just, it, it, the money never gets where it's supposed to go when we want it to go there here in this country, okay? I agree, I agree. You know? I mean, you could look at it like this too. I told this to my brother. If you really want to, see this country doesn't have the stomach for it anymore. If you really want to end Putin, we got the best army. I say we go right in there and fucking kill him. Then, you want what do we got a superpower for? The greatest army in the world. Okay. This country okay. can't it's, take people it, losing guys anymore. You know, That's the you're, problem. You're being you're being foolish. No, but if you really want to no, end I'm him, you can just drop you, guys no, in there. No, it's not that easy. Well, it isn't that hard. Uh, well, we've got a big army. Uh, Putin doesn't have as big an army, but it's going to be a hell of a war. And there are going to be a lot of Americans who are going to get killed in the process. And it's going to be a war that may go on for a long time that could end into a, a nuclear holocaust. I mean, there, yeah. it, you don't want to take that risk. That's why you want to fund him. But I'm just saying, you know, the, but I'm saying some was are just and some aren't. But this country doesn't have the stomach for it, though, is what I'm trying to say. Well, you know, I mean, uh, I, I think that this country needs to reassess who they are and where they are in the world you know and we're certainly not part of the international community we just pretend to be but you go to england you ask them what they think of america and they laugh at us 
I mean, we're just the laughing stock of the world, you know. So, I don't know. That's that's my. So anyway, I'm not saying Hitler wasn't a bad guy. Okay, he was he was awfully cranky, you know. Uh, but but I gotta say, it took the German people backing him to give him the power. Nobody comes to power without the people agreeing to give him that power. And uh, so that's what's happening now with us. This is just another Germany, World War II, you know. And if we don't fight like hell to keep this guy from becoming president of the United States, uh, we're, we're in trouble. But t uh, Charlie, what do you think about this whole thing about about Biden, where they were saying that he couldn't answer simple questions and that he he was really not alert, as it were. Um, I do think he's lost some some cognitive abilities, but he does when he is aware of what's going on. He's trying to do good things, whereas Trump, when he's okay. aware of what's going on, is trying to do bad things. But here's my question: Here we have an election coming up. It's obviously it's going to be Biden versus Trump, okay? Yes. Unless yes. something miraculously changes, you know, like we can throw him in jail before the election, you know, something like that. Uh, so that being the case, um, do you really want to take a chance on Biden running? Now with this new information that's being fed to the public about his cognitive abilities? Because that scares people. Yeah, but he's not completely gone like Reagan was. Reagan yeah, was but that, 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 that doesn't that now. doesn't matter. He could be we, just a, he just could be a little it. bit gone, but because of what has been said in the last day or two uh, by uh, these people who were investigating him, people are going to take that as oh, he's completely gone. You know, he has no cognitive ability. I mean, is he a good candidate at this point? I think that's a better question. And, and what's his winability? If the Democrats would run somebody else who was younger, he yeah, could be, he would the, be he, it, it, it'd be all over for Trump. Right? Yeah. Right. You know? I think he should step down then. That's what I think. Just, just step down. Not yeah. step down from the presidency, but step down No, meaning down like running. finish out your term and then say, like what are we again, talking? Just don't run again. But it's the only like, reason we're voting for him is because we know that he's the only one that can beat Trump right now. I mean, it, it, here here was the best deal. Uh, they had an election out in uh, you know for the primary out in uh, uh, where do you call it out in Nevada. Oh yeah, it was, it was, yeah, and and uh, <laughs> they <laughs> they had uh, uh, you could vote for like one of the things was you could vote for nobody. You vote for other for other. Uh, or, or you could vote for Nikki Haley. And Nikki Haley got 30% and other got 60%. Mm. Meaning that, uh, you know... She can't even beat the Invisible Man. Holy shit, that stinks. Well, she, you know, so, I mean, what's that all about? You know, when nothing can win. And I think people don't want either of these candidates, if you're really to be honest about it, but they're being presented with both of them. And so that's where you get these... Uh, you know these polls and so on and so forth. Uh, it it it's just amazing, it's just amazing. Now let me bring. And you got Trump begging for immunity, begging, begging. No, we're not going to immune you from your fucking bullshit lies. And it, like he's got balls to even say this. Well, like I even no, no. But I again, I'm going back to what I was saying about Hitler earlier. You've also got a population that a pers a heavy percentage of them. Are for Trump, and they're they're yeah. literally uh, going along with this bad behavior, okay, and encouraging it. So who's going to make you know? I mean, it, they're the ones that are going to make him president again, and they're the ones that are going to allow him to run rampant and literally. And I believe he's out to destroy the democracy because yeah. he doesn't have any idea what democracy is. I don't think he's that bright, okay, yeah. and I, and I think there are people handling him as well. But let me bring up another thing that came up today. Mm. And that was the Supreme Court heard the case with the Colorado situation where Colorado 
says uh, he can't be on the, uh, uh, in the primaries, he can't be on the ballot because uh, he, he uh, attempted to overthrow the government. There is a constitutional amendment to that effect. It's what, the 23rd? Am I right? 23rd? 14th Amendment. 14th? 14th? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was Section higher. Section 3. I thought yeah. it was higher than that. I think 23rd is prohibition, but I'm not mistaken. But anyway, he, um, uh, they, the Supreme Court listened to it today, and I don't think they're, I don't think they're, they're going to allow um, uh, Colorado to do this, to not let him be on the ballot in the primaries. All right? Uh, okay, so they went to Supreme Court today. The Supreme Court heard it. Looks like the Supreme Court is it, it, just almost universally is not happy with the concept that somebody can't be on the ballot. All right? But one thing everybody has forgotten is that this is a thing to keep him from being on the ballot in the primary, which should just be up to the state to decide because there's nothing in the Constitution that says you have primaries. Primaries are a recent affectation that we've had about how we do the work that the party should be doing for themselves. In the old days, they used to just get together, go to a convention, a bunch of people who wanted to be president uh, would fight on the floor of the, of the convention, and eventually they'd come out with their, their challenger and who that was going to be. There were no primaries. Somewhere along the line, the primary thing started happening. So what they're arguing in the Supreme Court today is about something, oh, they're arguing over something that probably shouldn't even exist in the first place because it's not covered by the Constitution. Am I wrong? Anybody? It's not banned by the Constitution. It's not banned by the Constitution. No, but it's not encouraged by the Constitution. The Constitution does not say every four years you will have a primary that will get you your, you know, your nominees. No, there is no such thing. So that consequently, if they want to say it in a state, under states' rights, hey, with this primary thing, which really, you know, is just an affectation, if, yeah. uh, if we want to do it, we're going to do it the way we want to do it. And, and it also doesn't say that the person doesn't have to be convicted by trial, but he participated in an insurrection either. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I have you ever felt completely comfortable with them keeping him out of Colorado? Fine with I you. have. <laughs> I know it's fine with you and it's fine with me, but I mean, I don't feel comfortable about it in the long run. For what it what it might say in the future, but anyway, the point I'm making is there the, the there's no specification that says we have to have primaries. So the fact that we do have them is because the state says, "Hey, let's have some primaries." They don't have to say that, but they say, right. "Let's have a primary." And if they say it, then they should be able to set the rules. That's all, you know. Now, when it gets comes to the you know the uh, the fight, the big election come in come November. No, I don't think they should be allowed to leave anybody out unless they've been convicted of a crime. In which case, if it's a felony, they can't become president of the United States anyway. So you know, uh, in fact, they can't even vote. <laughs> you know, so uh, if, if uh, uh, Trump were found guilty of uh, before then of a uh, of, uh, of of uh, what do you call it of uh, Oh man, I'm getting a little loopy here. Uh, I'm a felony. A yeah. felony. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, that would then change the whole thing. Okay, but anyway, so anybody have a feeling about what the uh, Supreme Court said was doing today? Because it looks like they're not too happy with the whole idea, and that includes liberals on the court as well. They think there may Sounds be. Like they could be doing. Well, doing well, other would things be with happy, their time. Yeah. Would they be happy keeping an 18 year old off the ballot for president since he's banned from the Constitution to for being president too? Well, that that that. that but they, nobody ever puts up. Like, you have to. Well, be, I'm saying, well, if somebody did, I bet they would not let let them stay on the ballot. Yeah. You know, what do you have to be? You have to be 35, right? You have to be 35 to serve as president. Yeah. 
Yeah, you can. It doesn't you, say you can't run for president. Yeah, but then if you if you if you were fifteen and you ran, if you won, you didn't win because you couldn't serve. Right. Well, if Trump runs and he's found to have participated in an insurrection, then he can't serve either. So why should he be on the ballot? Yeah, but he, as of now, he has not been found guilty of that. You don't have to be found guilty. You just have to participate. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't know how- I'm, I'm telling you, Jefferson Davis was never found guilty of anything to do with the a Civil War, but he was banned for life from running for office. Because he participated in the Do you Civil think he War. would have run for office after all they of that? They tried to. They tried to make him senator. He tried to run it for the oh, Senate. Oh, really? Oh, okay. And he couldn't run for it because of He the... could not run. He was banned from the ballot. Now, the argument would be could be made that this is an archaic law because it was meant for a certain place in time where there really was an insurrection in this country. There was, was a, uh, a war being waged by... Uh, the Southerners, uh, and so on, and that, you know, they made that law afterwards so that nobody could become president who had any complicit, uh, compl uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Any complicity in the uh, in in what was going on? But it on. wasn't just president. You can't run for any office. You can't run for dog catcher if you participate yeah. in an insurrection. Well, I think more of dogs than to vote for him for dog and catcher. And I would too. Huh? I walked two clients, dogs, Kansas and Biscuit. And they're better than him. I'll tell you that. I took a that's why I won't say it. This is your dog your job now picking My up. My dog walk is well I, I dog walk two dogs. Picking up dog poop. Well, well I make the you one, make... Kansas took a shit in front of a Trump house. I liked it, but I picked it up. <laughs> Charlie was a nice wet one too. <laughs> I didn't get it all on purpose. I'm sorry, Al. <laughs> I couldn't get it all because it just kept coming out. I just do it. The, the reason yeah. I don't own a dog. Yeah. This is number one, I'm not crazy about dogs. You know, the <laughs> reason I don't dogs are have a dog is because I would have to take them out and walk them and then okay. pick up their poop for them. I would have walked and the dog I'm for thinking, you. I'm thinking, let's say, yeah. let's say some extraterrestrials are watching <laughs> yeah. this with high-powered telescopes Never know. and they see me yeah. walking down the street with a dog and then he poops and then oh. i pick up his poop and put it in a bag okay <laughs> who do you think's gonna be the, they're going to assume is the master and which one is the pet <laughs> you're right in thinking that I, i'm talking to him he's still going <laughs> Yeah, you're right. I never thought of that. It's just Kansas. Yeah, I don't. I don't want those extraterrestrials to look down on me. I gotta tell them to sit and wait while I'm pick. I couldn't get it all. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was laughing too. Just, just He's sitting there looking at me like, "Let's go." <laughs> you have a snack, I said. Yeah. So, anyway, they're on my knees in the dirt. <laughs> but that, oh, that's, that's about all the stuff that's happening in the news. And it's uh, it's it's all scary. It's all very depressing. Marjorie says she can't watch the news anymore. She just I can't. hardly watch it that much. I listen on the radio and I get disgusted. And then and then you know what? Guess what? She watches what? it. She watches. She it watches anyway. the MSNBC like and not like my brother does. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she says I can't I can't watch the news anymore. I can't take another minute of this. Oh, did you hear what has happened on Morning Joe this does, morning? Blah, 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 blah. Morning Joe, yeah. yeah, going, yeah. Going. <laughs> he called me at work in the city. <laughs> you know, don't you have anything to do? He <laughs> said, no, nobody's in. <laughs> I mean, I'm having a hard time keeping up with the news because I don't watch it. I just can't take and it. And you used to watch a lot of news, I remember. You used to watch out of the country news, remember you saying. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm just, I'm just exhausted from this. You know, it, I just don't need it. And I... I, I, I think Americans are getting tired with it. And the trouble is, they're getting tired with it when they really shouldn't. Because we're up against a very difficult race this year. And it's very important for us to keep alert. But, yeah. I mean, it, it, there's a certain fatigue, I think, that is already... Um, um, in, in, I know, yeah, it's you know, true. It's, it's only February, the first week of February, and they already ramped up. No, Can you no, in no, November, no, no, no. a week before the election, if he's coming? Hey, 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 less coffee. 
Anyway. I know. Uh, I, I love my coffee. <laughs> no, but the point is that what I'm saying is, is that, you know, we really uh, are going to, uh, there's going to be a fatigue here. And by the time we get around to election time, I'm, I'm predicting that less people are going to vote this time than voted in the last election. Just because of the exhaustion and also yeah. because it's like watching the same movie over again. But I do that too. You know, do we really need this? You know, do we need it? So anyway, local news is terrible too. You you listen ten minutes into it and you start hearing all the murders and all this stuff happening, and it's like, okay, I'm done. Oh yeah, well, Marjorie also. You know, the other thing she's got. I've told you about this. Is this yeah, thing, my sister's got it's the called, app. It's citizen. Yeah. Yeah, I hear that all my sister. Oh, no, 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 no. For instance, if you go there, they immediately have a little thing that tells you how many sex uh, violators uh, are live in your neighborhood. Oh, that's good. I'm glad to know that. You know, maybe maybe I can find out who they are and go. I'll park. go to the post office with a bat. <laughs> yeah. Go party with it's still the move then. <laughs> that I told my sister. <laughs> I mean, it's ridiculous. Just ridiculous. It's crazy. Because they want to live in it's almost like it's everybody's hey, living Tom, in future. Tony, Tony, calm down. I know, but on, three on, cups you don't of have to have an opinion on everything. I know. Tonight, on ours it's this ring. On full cups. Three shots. On ours it's ring, and they we just had the storm, you know, these two atmospheric rivers pass through here. Yeah. Mm. And it, the power's been going out. And so everybody's sending their power updates like nonstop. Oh, we still have, we don't have power. Power outage again. And then power outage at West Capitol Expressway. And then, I mean, guys, just like nonstop, they keep giving updates and oh, there's no PGE update. Uh, 63 hours power outage. Just like nonstop. It's like, jeez. Jeez almighty. So, uh, yeah, but I mean, the citizen thing. Yeah. Oh, it, uh, there was a there was a stabbing on the corner. Oh, good. I'm glad to know that. You know, and and top of that, she just goes, "Oh, the world's falling apart." You know, it's terrible. It's I can't I can't take it. What what's with this world anyway? She's getting to be like uh, I thought uh, an old lady would be if I were living with them. Like, uh, what's with all this crime anyway? Who oh, this never happened before? You know. And I tell her, look, you know, it probably happened all the time. You just never had an app that told you when it was happening every minute in real time. So, you know. Well, we're coming to the end of this thing. My nose is itching now. Do I sound better? I guess yes, I do. Yes, that's better than Monday. Yeah. You know, I'm a little loopy, but outside of that, I'm okay. You know. Uh, let me see here. Let me start playing the theme here so that we can get the hell out of here. Hey, listen, a very nice hour, everybody. Uh, uh, and and if you if you send him any coffee, Alan, give me a thing. You know, you know. And and Tony, before you come on here, I have coffee here. I've drunk like a third of a cup of the coffee. This goes in the refrigerator. I use it again tomorrow. Well, you do the ice. I, I use the ice coffee when I don't finish the pot of Mr. Coffee. Yeah. Yeah. I do my ice coffee. Well, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is. Uh, do what I do. Just drink like a third of a cup of coffee, and that, that's enough to keep <laughs> you awake. <laughs> hey, thank, thank you, uh, 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 Brian. Great having you here again tonight. Uh, and I, I wanted to add, well, tomorrow night we'll talk about the Super Bowl because I got stuff okay. about that I want to talk mm, about. We don't need to really. Uh, uh, the, really? The, yeah, yeah. I love the Super Bowl. Oh, wait, Bowl. the 49ers are in it. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, but, but you don't care. I'm gonna go to San Francisco <laughs> Sunday, and if they win, I'm gonna pretend like I'm a Niner fan. Oh, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Alan, thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you very much, Kevin, as he's drinking his soda sideways. Uh, Over the 49er. Uh, oh, I see. <laughs> and there, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is Tony. He way too much caffeine. Way <laughs> too good. much caffeine. And, of course, Charlie. Thank you, Charlie, for joining us. Everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you. Ladies and gentlemen, there goes our citizen panel, okay? There they go. And uh, next on the same uh, gap net is uh, going to be uh, Amy Manuel with The Intersection. She's going to be taking your calls on uh, Skype 
at GabNet Live. I'll see you again tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, okay, you know what to do. Tell her I love her, okay? Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. A minute. I gotta hit this. There we go.